welcome back to the glamour shop this is your girl sophia and i missed you guys <laughs> i've got some cool diys i'm gonna do 12 days of christmas day number one i've got four ways four easy super cheap ways to upgrade these ornaments let's get into it Way number one. You guys know that I love the jean, right? So what you're gonna do on this particular project, you do need to have your glue gun for the jean one, okay? And that's all you need. It's just the glue gun and the ugly ornament bulb here. Okay, so what you're gonna do, take off the top. You're going to start at the top, right? And what you're gonna do, just take a little dab of your glue gun you don't need much here and what you can do so put this top here at the top of the bulb and you're gonna press that flat right and you're gonna let it harden a little bit and what you're gonna do is just flip it around so that it creates this textured look at the top and you're gonna just commence in doing that all the way around now I wouldn't say that you need to put glue around the whole thing you can really just put some dots at some pivotal points but put more at the top when you're wrapping it around so just put another one here twist and I push it down to make sure it stays put another dab there push it down make sure it stays you're gonna close in the top layer and push it down Make sure it stays so it should look like this, guys. And then you're just going to twist and twist and keep on making your layers, okay? And when it's done, it's going to look amazing. Okay, so this is what it looks like all finished up. It doesn't need to be perfect, to be honest. The textures make it, to me, is what make it unique. So I've got two of them here that I did. Look at the bottom, you just simply keep on twirling it around. Super cute, one of a kind pieces. No one else will have these. And it's a good way to recycle your old jeans and your old ornaments and make them super cute. You might look cute as earring, I don't know. Okay guys, way number two. Look at how gorgeous this is, right? <laughs> and this is nothing but tissue paper circles glued on to this ugly old ornament okay so i'm going to show you guys how to do this the only thing that you need to do this is you're going to need these small little one inch circles um cut out of different color tissue paper or the same color tissue paper i like the effect of having different ones and i'll tell you a secret i went to the dollar store and got the balloons that have the confetti already inside of them right because they are already cut out into these little circles they already come in cute colors so all you want to do the same thing you want to pop the top off and this time from the do same dollar tree um, or dollar store either one that you have available for you i got some clear tacky glue <laughs> so you can see it and you want to just use a little bit because you don't want it to come through so to get started all you want to find about where the bottom, um, the center bottom of the ornament is, and you want to glue down one circle. Okay, so when you're done, it should look like this, where you've got it on the bottom, okay? All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little one inch, and you're going to put just one dot at the top corner and stick it on to, um, I would say like right above, if you can see right here, right above where the circle is. And you're gonna take that and you're gonna go all the way around and then you're just going to layer it up until you get to the top of the ornament, okay? Okay, so this is what the finished product is gonna look like. You see the bottom here where we started and then we just layered it all the way to the top. So I've got two of these, like I said, this one's a little bit smaller. Then this one, um, earrings, right? 
<laughs> okay, way number three to turn this into something special. Get you some twine. And if you've got more of the farmhouse look going for your tree this year, um, I know it's super popular. You can get a little bit of twine and twist it around your old ornament and turn it into something that is super gorgeous. I'm gonna show you really quickly how you can get this to this. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is take the top off of your old ornament um, for each one of these, honestly. You wanna take the top off of the old ornament. I got this roll of twine, it's like 200 feet for a dollar. Again, all of these are super quick, super cheap ways to update your old ornaments. So twine, $1. Same tacky glue, <laughs> $1 for a whole bottle of this stuff. All you're gonna do is take your twine and they've got different colors of twine as well, but I thought the um, natural colored would be nice, like I said, for like a farmhouse kind of look. So what you're gonna do, got your tacky glue, you're going to take a little bit length, um, so probably an inch, Leave that hanging as a tail and get your tacky glue and you're going to put one ring around and you're just, you're putting light rings because this stuff is really good. So you just put one little light ring uh, around the very top to make it into a circle and you're going to take that first layer, wrap it around and you're going to wrap it over the tail that you left. Okay. And all you're gonna do is continue to roll it around and layer it down the ornament. And again, and then you're just gonna go through with one more circle of tacky glue. And you're just gonna push it down as you layer it, making sure it's pretty tight against that first layer. Wrap it around so you guys can see where I'm at here now. You don't wanna get it too much like I just did because <laughs> If you do, it'll end up squeezing out in between the rope. So you really want to try to keep that um, a very light layer. And that way it'll make it easier for you to push down. Um, you're going to get your hands a little bit, a little bit glued, a little bit gluey <laughs> in this one. So just that's okay. You know, tacky glue is cool because it comes off with soap and water. And I like it because you do have a little, unlike like hot glue guns, you do have a little bit of time to press it down um, while it just gets a little sticky as opposed to like the hot glue, you know, if you take too long, it'll like dry up and then get hard and you can't do anything with that. So the tacky glue is cool because it does give you a little bit of time to work with it. And you're just going to do that all the way down this ornament. Um, so you can see where I am now. And... You, like I said, you just want to keep them tight so that you don't have too many gaps in between. And if you do, who cares? But <laughs> you just want to keep it tight all the way down. And I'll show you guys what this one looks like all the way finished. Okay, so here we go. It's all done, guys. Look at that beautifulness. I promise I can wear all of them as earrings. I'm going to make me some earrings. Aren't these cute as earrings? This is a little big for earrings. But this is cute for earrings. I need some smaller ones. But anyway. Okay, so by far the most classic way to upgrade an otherwise very plain, ugly ornament is to dip it in glitter. Now, once again, I told you guys I don't like spending a lot of money. Y'all know this about me. I'm all about getting the most bang for your buck. So, for this particular one, what you're going to do is you need your ornament and then you need some Mod Podge, okay? Again, I got this little one over at the Dollar Tree. Yes, Dollar Tree for $1. A little goes a long way, a long way. So you just need this. You're going to need a brush and some water to keep your fingers from getting all crazy. Now, what you want to do, I got some glitter. I'm going to choose silver for this one. Um, I got this in a pack of five. Okay, of this size glitter at the Dollar Tree as well. So one dollar, two dollar, already got old ornament, right? So you're gonna take this, like all of them, you're gonna take snap the top off of it because we don't wanna alter that particular part. 
Okay, so you're gonna take your Mod Podge here. You've got your brush, and then you've got your little cup that should have water in it. Mine's does not. <laughs> but I'm gonna put some water in it, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Mod Podge, bust the cap open, and you can put it all over wherever you want the um, glitter to go, okay? And then all you're gonna do with your brush is you're going to just brush it on and try to give it, get it as even as you can because what'll happen is if you take a look at this one, right? you'll see that you've got a little bit unevenness. So you want to make sure you get it on as even as possible onto your ornament. And you you do want to put a lot on there because you do want it to be um, kind of a thick layer because you don't necessarily want to see the color underneath there. So let me show you. So what you want to do is go ahead and put, just don't put too much so you can't work with it, right? So you just take it and you're gonna spread it, like I said, as evenly as you can onto your ornament. And again, this is where you can get creative. So if you don't want it all, if you just wanna frost the top um, with the glitter and not the bottom, like it's purely up to you. Like I said, you wanna get um, a decent layer on there as well. Um, and then you just want to try to put it on as even as you can. But again, like I said, you see I've got some clumps here and I just want to even those out. Your hands are going to get sticky. So just be, just be okay with this. And now I'm going to bust the cap on my glitter. And I've got a plate underneath me, but you want to have something because those of you who work with glitter know that it gets everywhere. And you just want to sprinkle it as thick or as little as you want onto your ornament. And don't worry, you can go back over it with the Mod Podge if you don't quite get enough on to it. I'm going to finish putting this on and then let you guys see the finished product, okay? Okay guys, so this is what it looks like all the way finished. Now, this is two layers of the Mod Podge. So what I did is I just did one layer of the glitter that you guys saw me do, and then I popped the top back on, and then um, I did another layer on the half while I was holding it like this, and then put the glitter on that, then then did the other half with a very thick coating of the Mod Podge. And honestly, you can let it dry like 10, 15 minutes in between each coat and then slap another layer on. <laughs> and you can do that to make it as thick, like the glitter as thick as you want on it or as thin as you want on it. If you like the base color underneath and you don't mind seeing that show through the glitter, you're just adding glitter to make it like, give it some pizzazz perfectly okay to just do one layer and let that dry. But this is like the most classic way to get the glitter balls for your tree and you can get it literally any color you want, okay? And you don't have to put up with these old ugly ornaments that you have, that you've had for years. You can give it some new life and you can use these from year to year to year. Let's not spend any more money <laughs> on new ornaments from each year, unless there are some special ones that you want to get that you see. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today on our 12 day of Christmas countdown DIY of cycle projects. Make sure you join me for day number 11. If you have not already, like, share, subscribe to the channel for more DIY upcycle and fashion thrifting things. <laughs>